So first, let's try the algebra equation option, system of two equations, and then we'll have 1x plus 2y equals 3, and then for the second equation, it'll be 4x plus 5y equals 6, and then see it gives you your x and your y values there, and then we'll just rerun it to try out the other options in algebra equations. Next, we'll try option two, solve equations. Now this only solves first degree equations, so it only has to have one answer. So no absolute values, no quadratics. So in this case, we'll do five to the x equals 625. You could do a generic like two x plus three equals 12 type of problem too. Okay, and then next, try to do the uh, solve absolute value. So to get to the absolute value, you have to press the math choose num and then abs option and let's have the absolute value of x minus 5 and then let's have that equal 10 and then you'll see it'll give you both of the answers for x x1 equals 15 x2 equals negative 5 so a typical absolute value problem will have two solutions if you get an error value there's no solution okay and then for the linear equation we'll try it from the uh, y equals mx plus b format so plug in 5 for m 2 for b this is your output pretty amazing there um, gives you everything you want to know, parallel, perpendicular uh, slopes. So for quadratic, we'll just enter typical like 1x squared plus 0x plus negative 98 equals 0. And look at this. It gives us 9.889, negative 9.889, but also 0 plus or minus 7 rad 2. That's pretty awesome. It gives you the algebraic, or sorry, the fractional answers as well. Okay, for this, we're going to do the equation of a circle from, um, I think we're going to do the uh, center and radius or sorry, the endpoints of diameter, my bad. Um, x1 is 0, x, y1 is 0, uh, x2 is 3, y2 is 4, and then it gives us the form format for the equation of a circle, and then the center and then the radius, it's great. And then for percents, it gives you all these options. We're just gonna do A is B percent of C with B is the unknown. So if A is 10, A is what percent of C, our C value is 25, so it goes B equals 40. Okay, great, I'll do more extensive videos on this later, but that's just to give you a taste of what you can do with the SAT math, SAT math calculator program for your TI-84. Stay tuned for more. I'll, I'll put up more videos on this too. And you can check out the site mcstutoring.com as well. Okay, good luck and best of luck in your math endeavors.